Spanning 330 feet over the Stanislaw River is the longest covered bridge west of the Mississippi. John Bartell here, making a little pit stop at the Knights Ferry Covered Bridge. It may not look like much, but the Stanislaw River was once a huge hurdle for early gold miners trying to get from the port of Stockton to the Sierra foothill town of Sonora. But for entrepreneur Dr. William Knight, this very riverbank was a great place to start a trading post, which became known as Knight's Ferry. When William Knight founded the town, originally there was a ferry that would go across the Stanislaus River. Park ranger Frankie Bauer says Dr. Knight made loads of money, and that's because the nearest crossing would cost miners several days travel just to get over the tough terrain. It was a good way to make money because people didn't have another choice. When Dr. Knight founded the town in 1849, business was good. There was even talks about building a bridge, but unfortunately for Dr. Knight, he was murdered that very same year and would never see the bridge. His death, however, didn't stop a man by the name of David Locke from capitalizing on the location. David Locke came through. He decided that a covered bridge was needed to replace the ferry. The first bridge built in Knights Ferry was washed out in a flood. The second, however, is still standing today. These look like some old timbers here. Yes, a lot of these beams are actually the original wood uh, built in 1862 for the covered bridge. Knights Ferry Bridge was built so well that cars regularly drove across it up until the 1980s. Unfortunately though, when we went, it was closed to pedestrian traffic for maintenance. Do we have any idea when they're gonna open this back up? Currently, no, uh, there's no estimated timeline. Uh, however, we do understand that there is a lot of value to the bridge, to the communities. Even though you can't cross the bridge, you can check out the ruins of David Locke's old flour mill, which eventually became a hydroelectric plant. Or you can hike the many trails, which will lead you to swimming holes, fishing spots, or this Native American acorn grinding rock. They take a grinding stone, they would grind inside the rock, to make uh, a meal, that way they could turn it into a flower. If you have time, check out the natural history exhibit at the park entrance, or grab a bite to eat while you're touring the historic town of Knights Ferry. From the Knights Ferry Covered Bridge, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.